Hello, and welcome back to Timbermates. Brandon and I have been putting in some really hard days to try to reach our goal of moving into our house by the end of April. So in this video, you're gonna see all the work that we've done in the past couple weeks in order to get to our temporary occupancy and actually move in. So we finished our bathroom floor yesterday and we have one more section of tile we need to do before all the flooring is done here at the house. Just putting around today, gonna clean up this disaster behind me and get things sorted so that when this tile does come in we can just go. We're trying to move in within the next two weeks um, so it's quite a big push uh, but we're getting there. It's getting really really close.
glad to see that hole worked out where the, <laughs> right where the plumbing goes. <laughs> Seems to be in the right spot. There's the door. There's a little bathroom here. So and he goes here. So it goes there. Ready? What'd you say? A little bit loud. Well, the tub is going to be a shelf because this room is longer than the tub is, so I'm going to put a shelf back here for all the shower stuff. And that's all going to be tiled. I did. I made it level this way. Of course. But not this way. Because they want it to slope. But there's an ever so slight slope so that <laughs> if water does get up there, it actually it runs. Back down in the Back down in the tub. In case it's over here and then the girls are in big trouble. <laughs> I didn't film much of this, but I'm all done the grouting in our in our master bathroom. Then that's our shower, which we're gonna take care of later after we move in. So if you saw in our last video, um, we did the basement floor downstairs with the PEX tubes. So we did the same thing up here, and that's what you're seeing here. So the plot, the three quarter inch plywood that we used downstairs for the wheelbarrows ended up getting cut up into four inch wide strips. And we made this, <laughs> oh stop. We made this whole pattern with uh, all the PEX lines. So there's about, is there six, six runs? Yeah, there's six loops up here and there's four downstairs. These are three eighths, they're smaller ones, just so you can, they fit underneath the three quarter plywood. Mm -hmm. And obviously they don't need to be big because it's not a lot of, like, you don't need a lot of heat to warm this up. Yeah. Not like a big concrete slab where you've got like really, really thick concrete. It takes a little bit more to heat that up, so. Yeah. Yeah, the three eighths line is going to work beautifully for this. Yeah. So yeah, and then, so it's the plywood. The PEX lines are under here. And uh, that's just like a sand mix to protect the lines and help the heat to disperse. These are the kids' rooms. I'm not sure why we let them pick their own colors, but <laughs> they're a little bit vibrant. This one. We've been working some big days here, and where have you been? I've been here the by myself the whole time. Stop. <laughs> My fingernails don't look like this for nothing. <laughs> so we've got the kitchen all going strong, and check this out. We just got water. <laughs> You love. <laughs> You're welcome. That's really exciting. That is kind of, I know it seems like something that you take for granted, but when you don't have it, or it's like the first time it's ever been. It's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very sweet. 
It's been a disaster in here. We're aiming to move in in three days, which is a little bit crazy. I just grounded this floor today. Pretty good. You can tell it was you that was growing up with the wall. <laughs> You're cruising today. I'm ready to go home. Yeah, let's go home and watch a hockey game. Yeah. And back at it again tomorrow. Okay, so this is the end of the video. We are moved in to our house. It is not perfect, it's not finished. We don't even have doors. We're working on that right now. We don't have trim, baseboards. Um, we don't have the stuff around the doors and windows um, figured out yet. So still a lot, a lot, a lot of work to do. We even still have a lot of landscaping to do and uh, decks to build and all kinds of stuff. We also want to build a garage and a pole shed. So still a lot, tons and tons of work to do. But we're here and we're saving money, not renting a place, which makes a really big difference for us. And we're also back to work. Um, we're just about to head out and do a tree job and uh, actually a couple today. And I've got a lot of editing to do and stuff. So we're back to work. We are doing a bit of a juggling act. Um, I guess you could say. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit hectic, a little bit crazy, but we're here and it feels so good. And just having our morning coffee with this view of our little forest in the back is pretty amazing. And like we're living in the house that we built with our own two hands, got married in, and it feels amazing. So so thank you guys for following along up until this point. We will continue to update you. We still have the whole exterior to do. We've got the stonemason coming in a couple weeks. Um, then we're gonna do the siding. We've got the soft and fascia to do. We've got all the landscaping to do. Then we're gonna build a garage and a pole shed and, uh, or a pole barn. And so we've got a lot still going on. So stay tuned to the channel. We'll keep you posted. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Guess we'll see you on the next one.